Welcome back. Well, I know that it's a little darker than usual today, and I am sorry about that. We've had some very overcast weather because of the hurricane that's hit the southern coast of the U.S., and we've been getting some of the rain and a lot of the lack of sunshine. So, we're going to try to struggle through it. All right, we have a couple of unboxings today. I'm sure that they are both going to prove to be well worth the difficulties of putting up with a somewhat darker than average video. We'll see if we can't sort of muddle through. All right, when we come back, we're going to start opening boxes. <music> start with this one. It is from Karen Hopper. And of course, as soon as I realized that, all I did was cut it open. I have not looked. I have a feeling we're going to be in for it. Now we're going to start again. Well, this package is from Karen Hopper. So I've cut it open, but I haven't seen what's inside yet. Now we're going to take a look. Karen, as you all know, is a jewelry repurposer, and we have gotten some positively glorious giveaway pieces from Karen in the past. So let's see what we, oh my, yeah. All right, this is terrific. Let's see if I can figure out which side is up. This side, I think. Look at this beautiful brooch. Oh my goodness. All right. I have a feeling I know what our video for tomorrow is going to be. I think we are just going to put together a massive giveaway. That is gorgeous. It's, oh, here, let me show you again. Uh, this is just beautiful. It's like, it's Art Deco. It's steampunk. Mm. I'm not sure this is going into the giveaway. Hmm. All right. I'm going to be generous. Really, I am. I'm not keeping all this for myself. Oh, all right. Let's, oh, and they are all in these beautiful here. I should hold it up so you can see. They are all in these beautiful little packages, too. Earrings. Ah, look at this. These are little watch faces. Are they? No, they're not watch faces. They are acrylic pieces. That's what they are. Oh, I'm going to get some good photos of these because I do realize, especially with pieces like this, with the light, it's so hard for you to see them here. I don't even have that. All right, there we go. I don't even have that right side up. Beautiful. I'm going to get some photos of these so that you can take a look at them. Um, all right, that's beautiful. So that's a pair of earrings. Let's see. Oh, more. And this is just one of the bags in there. Okay. Here we go. Well, Karen... I, I know you've seen her things before. She is just fabulously talented. 
all repurposed, reclaimed items. We've got another beautiful pair of earrings. This is, oh my, let me see what colors these. Um, we've got sort of a copper, a bronze. They've got a lilac cast to them. Absolutely gorgeous. And they are on wires. So another gorgeous pair of earrings. Okay. And what do we have here? Oh, this looks like another pair of earrings. Yes. Oh, I'm holding it upside down. Now let's see what, oh, this is a beautiful little, sort of like a flower. And here's its little mate. Gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. So we've got three pair of earrings, that beautiful Art Deco slash steampunk brooch. And, you know, you don't see a lot of that. I usually refer to that as Rocketeer Steampunk. It's definitely a thing, at least for me. Oh. Take a look at this piece. Oh, my goodness. This is such a shame to be doing this in poor lighting. But as I say, I am going to give you photographs of these. Now, let's see what this is. It's everything is what it is. This is just a beautiful assortment of what looks like buttons on a necklace. That is just delightful. Very glittery. And it's just... I am so sorry, Karen. I just wish we were not doing this in, you know, the wake of a coastal hurricane. Oh, this is another wonderfully glittery piece. This is, it's a geode. Look at this. This is a geode and it's on a chain, but it's also got a clip so it's a brooch. This is amazing. And all these pieces are gorgeous, but look at that. That is a geode. I, I don't even know where she comes up with these ideas. And of course, it's on this huge chain too. So it's a combination piece that can be worn as a necklace or a brooch. Where did, where did she think of these things? How does she come up with these ideas? This is just incredible. And let's see what this is. Oh. Oh. This is like a dream catcher. This is beautiful. It's This is a tree with a sun. At least that's what I think it is. That's my interpretation of this. And a cat, a cat down at the foot of the tree. Oh, this is amazing. And it's just, it's like a wonderful little cat dream catcher. This is fabulous. You know, this is the sort of thing that I would absolutely stick in my window. No question about it. Well, I don't know. I know I like my neighbors. I was going to say I might not want to share it, but no, I do like my neighbors. What a fabulous piece that is. Now, let's see what we've got here. Okay. It's another necklace. Look at this. Beads, we've got some sort of medallion and a little pearl. And 
and it's all on a chain. Is that great or what? Oh my goodness. All right. Oh, another big piece. Oh, this is just wonderful. It's just serpentine metal. We have, what do we have? We have a piece of mineral in the middle of it. And of course, the catch is visible right here. I love the pieces where you can see how it goes on. Um, so I love the fact that the catch is right here. That is beautiful. It really is. And we've got little gemstones and up. Oh. As I say, I do not I do not even begin to understand how her creative mind works. That is just amazing. Looks like bracelets. Ooh, don't fall. Oh, it is a single bracelet. Look at this. Is that great? Oh, that is fabulous. It's like all of this coral, it's just. Oh, wow. All right. Well, as I said, this is definitely going to be a two-day video. I'm going to show you everything today. And tomorrow, when I have a chance to put together a slideshow of the pictures of these, we are going to do some terrific giveaways. And here we are just before Christmas, so the timing couldn't be better. Okay, steampunk again. It's a beautiful old key with a bead that is just great. And look at this chain, too. This is just so steamy. Mm. Last one. <laughs> Look at this. Is that terrific or what? That is just so impressive. See what wings and this wonderful pendant at the bottom. It's with the cabochon. It's just Oh, and look, I love the asymmetry of this piece. You know, when you first look at it and you see this portion, you think, oh, very symmetrical. But then we've got these little sparkly beads going down one side of the chain. That's beautiful. That, I mean, that really is. She is so creative. It's just amazing. Okay, we've got a note. Maybe I should have read this first. Sue and Audie. Audie is in the bedroom. I bribed him with treats because I knew it was things from Karen, and I knew he would be fighting with me to see if he couldn't get his hands on those. Pause. On those. Twelve items of my repurposed jewelry to keep or give away to help build up the channel. Is she kind? If you like anything, please keep it for yourself or use it as gifts for someone. If you need anything else, please let me know. 
Is that kind or what? Well, it's going to be Christmas giveaways. No two ways around it. I am sharing. I think these things are fabulous, but you got to know, even though I want to, I'm staring at them. It's like, mm. even though I want to, there is no way I'm keeping all this for myself. This is just gorgeous. So tomorrow's video, I'm going to put together a slideshow of these things. And absolutely, you be sure to tune in and sign up for the giveaways. Remember, the only thing you have to do for the giveaways is just subscribe to the channel and put a comment. Say, hey, give me this, give me that. I'm easy. Amazing. But we're not done yet. Okay. Our class clown slash resident comedian, Greg, who has been sending the joke of the day for us for so long. Now, you know, I didn't say this when it was happening, but now it's all in the past, so I'm hoping he won't get upset with me for this. I want you to know he was posting jokes from his hospital bed. He had to go in for emergency surgery, and they kept him for a couple of days because things didn't go as well as anticipated. I guess there were some complications. And he was literally posting jokes to our comments from his hospital bed. Why? Because he knows uh, that the jokes have been uplifting to us in these difficult times. And he, he wanted to continue to share his little laughs and his little dad jokes. So I didn't want to say anything at the time because even though he has been wonderful about it, he's not the sort of person who wants to be thanked or recognized for this. But I'm doing it anyway. Thank you, Greg. It really does mean a lot to us. And Greg has sent these. True Romance Magazines. So this first one is True Story. Why she killed her fifth column Nazi lover. Oh my gosh. Is that amazing? These are, let's see, we've got October. Now it's her let me see if we can find a date more than October in here. They should have a year. October 1940. She killed her fifth column Nazi lover. Oh, I am like enchanted already. True romance. Guilty bride. She does look guilty, doesn't she? She looks half-dressed to me. Oh, my. Wait, another one. Indiscretion. The story of a dishonest love. She looks like she's keeping secrets. All right. True romances. Too young to know love. She does not look too young to know love to me. Not in that dress. But look, she has a dress clip on. We've talked about them. A dress clips were such a thing. If she's old enough to be wearing a dress clip, she's old enough to know love. All right, wait, there's more. True story. I was Hitler's maid. Maybe she really was. I don't know. Let's see what this says. Pauline Kohler's amazing story of the Nazi dictator's love life. Oh, my. Yes, the truth is stranger than fiction. That's the subtitle. Oh, I love this. This is just. This is just great. I am that certain woman. Yes, you are. 
Look at that torpedo prop. Wow. Let's see. Eve Morton's own story of her love for Jimmy Hines. I have a feeling if I were alive in the 1940s, I might know who Jimmy Hines was. Oh, wait. Look, I've got cigarette ads on the back. She is Chesterfield's own graduation cap. They were selling cigarettes to newly graduating high school students. Oh my word, they should have been ashamed of themselves. This, I don't even know what to say about this. All right, true story. Plus 10,000 victims, sensational revelation of a doctor's secretary nurse. Well, I have no idea what he was doing with his victims, but I can just imagine. Oh, another Chesterfield ad on the back of this with a hat that rather resembles, I don't know, a Hershey's Kiss. That looks like a game piece from some of the board games we used to play back in the 50s and 60s. Okay, this one, yes. He mentioned that he was sending one without a cover. That's okay. We've got a semi-naked woman in a bathtub. A tip about bathing to a girl with a date tonight. I am assuming they thought we didn't know how to wash ourselves. Oh, my goodness. These are fabulous. Yes, he has sent me a whole section of true romance magazines. Um, I don't know what to say. I am thrilled by them as well. This is just absolutely sensational. Well, stay tuned for tomorrow's video because I will be putting up slideshows and I will be organizing all of this into a giveaway. With any luck at all, the storm will have passed by tomorrow and we will have some decent light out for the videos i am sorry i know this is dark it's probably you know getting on your nerves so i'm sorry what can i say i consider that we are extremely lucky here we did not get the worst of the hurricane the worst of the hurricane hit much further south so I consider us extremely fortunate. We are not flooded. We are not homeless. We are not in the hospital because, you know, hurricanes are a serious business. They can really cause a great deal of personal and financial damage. So I'm looking at us as very, very lucky, even though obviously we are, are seeing some of the effects. All right. Well, this was just a fabulous set of unboxings. I certainly hope you had as much fun as I did. And stick around tomorrow because I'm sharing the well. All right. I will see you all then. Have a terrific day. And let's just take our little minute of quiet and calm with our beautiful little horizon pictures. And oh, it's just, well, I think given the fact that not all of us are quite so fortunate, let's just take a minute to consider ourselves grateful for what we have and that we were not impacted by the weather. And for those of you who were impacted by the weather, our hearts go out to you. Truly, they do. Um, I hope you are all safe and well. All right. See you tomorrow.